Thank you, Mark. Our next speaker will be Ted Martin from Equality PA. Thank you, Senator Leach. I'm the Executive Director of Equality Pennsylvania, it's the statewide L lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender advocacy organization. I am pleased to be in this building at this time on the opening day of LGBT Freedom Week. I'm also grateful to be sharing the podium with such great friends of the LGBT community as I have behind me. Each of these legislators recognize the singular fact that while the world around us is shifting favorably towards the rights of LGBT citizens, Pennsylvania is not. Their actions today in introducing bills that recognize marriage and the relationships of thousands of LGBT people, their support of legislation that would protect those same people against senseless and hurtful discrimination, and crimes motivated by nothing more than pure hate are the starting points to remedy the remarkable dearth of real protections that LGBT citizens have in a place they support with their tax dollars and hard work. At a time when it is perfectly legal in more than three quarters of the state to fire, evict, and deny public accommodations to an LGBT person or simply dismiss their relationship as nothing uh, official everywhere in the Commonwealth, we need to have honest discussions on how we treat real people in the 21st century. Let today be a highlight in those discussions and an honest dose of the reality that no democratic society can call itself great or fair when large parts of it are ignored, consciously legislated against, or simply treated as second class, or worse yet, second rate. Legend says that St. Valentine, the namesake of today, offered a small token of affection to his jailer's daughter from behind bars, and look what it started. Aside from launching the greeting card industry and putting florists on the map, his simple gesture said that communication could transcend the harshest of circumstances. I'm sure that at least one of you out there know, listening to this story, that he also ended up a martyr. Too many LGBT people have already experienced the harshest of circumstances. So today, I hope we concentrate far less on the martyr part of the story and far more on how we start a great movement that will change lives. Thank you very much.